What's up, Bollywood Warriors, and welcome back to another video. And today, it's gonna be another day of eating. We haven't done one of these in so long. I think they're always interesting, always sort of valuable, maybe. So, that's what today is. But while I'm here, I wanna share with you quickly um, something that was mentioned to me by David McGettigan. So, David was on for the Golfer's Elbow video that I did. He was one of the, the physiotherapists, the, the sports rehab therapists that we had a chat with in that video, which I'll link down below by the way. It was a really good conversation about just injury rehab, tendon rehab in general. A lot of useful insights from them, especially when it comes to dealing with long-term pain. Anyway, uh, he has this thing which he has four non-negotiables. This is in the morning. So four things that everyone should be doing every single day. So upon waking. Number one is uh, hydration. Just some water. You've you know you've been sleeping for eight hours or whatever you haven't drunk, have some water, rehydrate yourself. Number two, we've got light, sunlight. Get some sun on your eyes especially, but also on your skin. We've talked about that plenty of times in previous vlogs. Best thing you can do for your sleep actually is get out into morning sunlight. Reinstate that circadian rhythm, get all that hormone production releasing incorrectly. That'll massively help. Number three is get cold. So. That could be a cold shower, that could be going for a swim in a sea or the lake, something that I do fairly regularly, but I don't always do the get cold every single day. That one's only something that I do maybe two or three times a week. Uh, and the last one is, number four, is mindfulness slash breathing. So just like have some form of mindfulness practice first thing before you like, you know, just dive on your phone, scroll through social media or get stuck into work. So, you know, for me personally, that is reading with a cup of coffee. This is my happy place. I am reading Man and His Symbols by Carl Jung. This is book club number five. So if you wanna join the book club, grab a hold of this book. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a journey. But equally, it could be, you know, doing doing some journaling, um, just doing some meditation, doing some breathing practices, any of that sort of good stuff. I just wanted to share with this with you, not that this is any point of the video today, but I just thought it was a really uh, nice, simple four things to focus on each morning that really would have a massive impact for the day. Breakfast, as usual, is going to comprise of leftovers. So you get leftover chicken. This is some broth as well. So this this is basically from uh, a Thai poached chicken recipe, which will be over here if you want to check that one out. I've shared that many, many times. And then this is for dinner. So today, hopefully, I should be able to do pretty much all of my cooking for the day in about 10 minutes. So as well as the chicken, uh, there's also some chicken liver that I'm gonna put in there for the micros. So while that is just heating up, as I said, I've got some uh, brisket here. This is not the best way of buying brisket, by the way, I just happened to be in the shop to grab it. If you go to your butchers, they'll be able to give you a nice big cut, but briskets are a great kind of cheaper cut, generally around 10 pounds per kilo, and absolutely incredible when you slow cook it. So all I'm gonna do is be super, super lazy. There's this smoky barbecue, like uh, spice mix. Rub all of it with that, some salt, and then I'm just gonna chuck it in the slow cooker and leave it until I kind of wanna eat it. Probably about eight hours or so and it should all be kind of falling apart and it will create its own juices as well without putting any water or anything in it and literally takes all about two minutes to cook. So breakfast, it's, uh, it's now about 1 p.m. Um, I tend to keep my food super simple at the moment. It's like two meals a day, two big meals. Kind of have one about lunchtime and then one in the evening. That's it. Maybe like a snack in between. But it's just, you know, one less thing to worry about at the end of the day. Usually breakfast, leftover, and then whatever I cook dinner, I generally have for leftovers the next day. Right here, we've got about 250 grams of cooked chicken meat, mix of breast and thigh. Got 100 grams of raw chicken liver. Again, amazing for some micronutrients, vitamin A, copper, zinc, 
iron, all of that good stuff. Uh, I've also just got one egg in there because the yolk is it's bomb. And then the chicken broth, so we get all the glycine, all of the good stuff, the collagen that you get with broth. And there is also 100 grams of cooked rice, which again is left over for some carbs. Um, I am going for a little bit of mass gainer at the moment and also because it's summer there's more light I'm generally just having a little bit more carbs in my diet and then as we get into winter things tend to shift a little bit more to that low carb not necessarily keto but certainly on the lower carb side so according to my fitness panel this meal right here is 110 grams of protein 80 grams of carbs and only 40 grams of fat there's a little bit of coconut milk here usually I would like the fat to be a lot higher in this meal and that would also bump the total calories up quite a lot because there's only about 1200 if i'm only eating two meals a day each meal needs to be like minimum 1500 but we'll have a snack later on i don't usually count macros i just kind of know that my usual meals are roughly around this amount you know fill the bowl and it's going to be a decent amount of calories so it's now what was it six o'clock in the evening uh, i've just been working basically until we last spoke and it's now time to train finally today i'm going to be doing uh probably the last phase of rehab for the adductor strain that i had doing this again not spa don't do that at home kids um, something to, to mention very briefly is that technically it's been like five hours five hours since i last ate which some people may be like, oh, okay, there may be a need for like a pre-workout sort of food, something to sustain you through training. But I've kind of found that I think that is more psychological than it is physiological, especially if you have a meal that stabilizes your blood sugar well, something that, that is appropriate for yourself, depending on uh, your insulin sensitivity, etc. Uh, and I found with again, higher meat based, a little bit lower on the carb side, I don't tend to feel hungry. As I said, the two meal a day thing kind of works well for me. So yeah, you could chuck something in here if you want to, but I decided to train and then eat all the food after training. So that is the thing that I love about this slow cooker is like, literally it took me about two minutes earlier today to, to prepare, left it, can go to the gym, do whatever I want to do, come back and, and dinner is ready. So because it is uh, gonna be basically at 9.30 by the time I end up eating, which is a little on the late side for me, uh, I'm gonna have dessert, because I always treat myself to some dessert. I have that now, which is, um, I'm a big fan of these, which are these like coconut collaborative, they're like kind of okay, semi-healthy, like chocolate pudding cups. Have that with banana and the greatest of all time, pippin' that almond butter, that is, there's uh, also kiwis, a uh, highly underrated fruit. But anyway, macros for this, I have no idea, but it's uh, probably about 60 grams-ish of carbs. It's, it's on the screen now, in case you're wondering. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna grab dinner whenever it's ready. So uh, that's the end of the day of eating, or was the, the other day of eating. Uh, I ended up eating pretty late, which I've got into a bad habit too recently, and it's it's not the best. Definitely affects sleep. Heart rate tends to be a bit elevated earlier on in the night, just from eating late. Um, it's a habit that I'm trying to get out of, but 
definitely struggling. And, and certainly when it's summer and it's like still light outside, it's pretty hard to eat at like 6 p.m. Uh, macros for that final meal ended up being uh, 118 grams of protein, 130 grams of carbs, about 50 grams of fat for a, a total of 1500 calories, which is a pretty hefty meal. Helped out, certainly was a bit of a mountain, but as I said, tends to be how I like to split up my eating, just two big ass meals. That brought the total for the day to 250 grams of protein, 280 grams of carbs, and 127 grams of fat. Now this is probably a little bit lower on the fat than I would personally like. Usually I get a little bit more, but just happened to be the case, like having chicken for breakfast is, is a lot leaner meat than beef or lamb or something that I'd usually have. Um, but then again, carbs are a little bit higher as well. So it kind of balances out because at the end of the day, it was about 3,300, 3,400 calories, which for me is kind of in that sweet spot for gaining weight. If I'm hitting 3,300 to 3,500, I'll generally gain weight at a pretty steady pace. Um, I obviously could gain weight and size much quicker, but I'm just not a massive fan of, of doing the aggressive bulks simply for the reason that I just don't enjoy it. And I like to enjoy my food. I don't enjoy stuff on my face. As long as I'm eating enough to, to gain and, and move forward, that's great. Also, uh, for those of you, maybe 250 grams of protein seems a little higher, a little excessive. Uh, I would say my fitness pal tends to bias this a little bit more because it's counting um, thing, the protein from like, I don't know, the oat milk or or the potatoes or the rice and, and all of these other little bits and factors. Whereas personally, if I'm like mentally thinking about my food for the day, I'm only gonna count uh, protein from meat or eggs or fish. You know, your, your, your primary sources, I wouldn't be counting any of the protein from secondary sources just because the bioavailability is, is nothing in comparison. As always guys, if you have any questions or wanna just leave your opinion, please do so in the comment section down below. Join the conversation and uh, maybe let me know what you'd like to see in future day of eating, more recipes, all that sort of good stuff. If you just enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button. If you want to join the Body Weight Warrior Tribe, don't miss out on any more future videos. But apart from that, I'll catch you the next one. Have a strong week. Thanks.